everyone, my name is Beth and I'm with the Humble Warrior Collective. As we move through this short practice today, we'll be looking for ways to support ourselves in our practice. So I've got a few props that I'm gonna use, nothing um, fancy, just a pillow, a blanket, and a chair, preferably one with no arms, like a kitchen chair or something. So I invite you to gather your props and we will start on our backs. So make your way down carefully and gently. Kind of feeling everything out along the way. You can close your eyes if you'd like to, or maybe just soften your gaze. And take a few moments to settle in, getting any little wiggles out that you need to, maybe stretching apart. And then once you settle in, allow your body to feel completely supported by the floor beneath. Begin to notice one side of your body, comparing it to the other. Just noticing if there's maybe a little extra weight in one place or one side. If one hip bone feels heavier or one shoulder blade feels a little heavier. And then take your attention to your breath. Let your belly move freely as you inhale and exhale. And then let's bend one knee at a time, bringing each foot to the mat. And then use your feet to press into the floor and let your low back come down. And then pull with your feet. Let your hips, your pelvis roll forward. And you might find a little space in that lumbar curve. We're gonna move between those two places so you can imagine your pelvis rocking back and forth a few times. Tucking your tail under and then releasing it down to the floor. And just keep rocking, noticing the backside of your pelvis, the bony part of the sacrum And then coming back to what feels like a more neutral position with your pelvis on the floor. Let's pick one foot up and then the other. And take your arms up into the air, fingers towards the ceiling, come into this kind of dead bug position. And we'll move a little bit here. So think about maintaining a neutral pelvis, strong belly, strong sides of the body here as you move. Take your left arm back and your right foot forward. And then come back to center. Right arm back and left foot forward. And then one more time each direction. Left hand, right foot. Maybe reach a little further. Back to center. 
center. Right hand, left foot. You might find this a little tricky to move in this, this direction with the opposite hand and foot. It's normal. And then let your feet, your arms come back down to the ground. Rest your knees together. Take your feet a little bit wider apart. You might even windshield wiper your knees a little. And then let's roll over to one side and press ourselves up to seated. Come into a comfortable seated position, whether it's crisscross applesauce, or legs out long, or kneeling. Now let's just start to move our spines a little side to side movement. So I'm going to take my arms up above my head, grabbing opposite elbows. Inhale, lengthening up through the spine, and then exhale, I'm going to lean to the left. You might choose to let your head rest on your arm or not. And then come back up to center. And then exhale, lean to the right. Come back up through the center. Unwind your arms. Let them rest. Maybe roll the shoulders out, take an inhale breath, lengthen your spine once again. And then as you exhale, twist to your left. So just a gentle twist today. Breathing down into your belly. Come back through the center, take an inhale breath. And then as you exhale, twist to your right. Inhale to center. Let's lengthen up to the sides of the body one more time. Reach up, maybe taking your gaze up. And then exhale, release your arms down. Let's come up into a tabletop position. So hands and knees. And my knees are feeling, I don't know, a little sore today. So I'm going to take my blanket and support my knees with a little extra cushion. From here, let's move through some cats and cows. So with your breath, it doesn't matter which one, each direction. I'm going to inhale as I lower my belly and lift my heart for cow. And then exhale, tucking my tail and rounding the back. But you can totally go with the opposite breath. I want you to move in a way that feels good. Breathe in a way that feels good. And then if something doesn't feel right, leave it out. might feel nice to take some side to side movement in your cat and cow. Just kind of moving your spine, listening to what your body is saying. The feedback that it's giving you. It gives us feedback all day long, but we usually don't listen to it very well. We're too busy. So from here, let's come into a child's pose. But rather than just laying everything down on the floor, we're going to be extra supportive of our bodies today. So I'm going to take my pillow, and I think I'll use my blanket as well, fold it up for a little extra height, and bring my blanket and pillow in close. I'm going to separate my knees and let my hips rest on my heels. And then upper body coming forward, readjusting as you need to. Don't want my glasses on for this. And really snuggle down into your pillow, get comfortable. Soften through the shoulders. And if this isn't a comfortable position to you, you can keep your hips up high and then rest your upper body down. 
Okay, so you choose what feels best and most supportive. Find your most comfortable child's pose. And we'll take about five inhales and exhales here. So as you breathe here, breathe into the back side of your body. The space between your shoulder blades, the back side of your ribs and lungs, and the back of your pelvis. One more inhale. One more slow, satisfying exhale. And then we'll come out slowly. So feel your hands press into the floor first. Walk your body up carefully. Come back up into our tabletop position. And then tuck your toes under. Let's come up and back into downward dog for a moment. So keep your knees soft, nice big bend in the knees. And then walk your hands to your feet, forward fold. Let your spine hang, let your head hang. Nice bend in the knees so your upper body is resting on your thighs if you want to. Support yourself there. Maybe give your head a little yes or no. And then we'll press the floor away and rise up to standing. All right, so this is where I'm gonna grab my chair. Move my glasses out of the way, and I'm gonna take my chair to my sticky mat so it doesn't slip around, because I've got a hard floor here. It might be on carpet, so it might not be that big of a deal. And then moving my props out of the way, at least for the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and place my hands on my chair and try out my down dog from here. So walking my feet back, and I'm going to take a little bit of extra space between my feet and sway my hips a little side to side. So we can do our down dog with the hands on the floor. But isn't it nice to have a little extra support by using our chair? Let's take an inhale breath here. And then maybe a shift forward into a plank. Notice how this plank feels compared to if we were using the floor. And then press yourself back, come into downward dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, come forward. Still feels like a strong plank, even though we're using our chair for support. Exhale as you press back. And then look towards your hands, walk your feet towards your hands, your chair. Rise back up, come to standing. Let's do a little bit of lunging here, but rather than coming into a lunge with our feet on the floor, maybe you take a foot to your chair. So I've got my right foot up and my left foot back. And I'm just gonna make these some nice easy lunges back and forth, so straightening and bending my knee. Settling into that lunge. Let's find a little strength in our hips here. Maybe taking the arms up and over once you feel strong and settled. One more breath. And then release your hands down. Maybe we take one hand to the chair. Let's take our right foot to the floor, wiggle it out. And then left foot up. 
And if this feels better with your foot on the floor instead of lunging into the chair, that's fine too. Otherwise, let's go back and forth a few times. It's kind of lubricating the joints, getting the synovial fluid moving. And then once again, settling into your lunge. Finding strength in the hips, an uplifting feeling. Arms might come up and over, or hands to heart center, whatever feels best to you today. Feel grounded through the feet and light and lifted in the upper body. One more breath here. Release your hands down. Step your left foot back. And then let's turn our chair around. I just wanna have a, a higher support here. Take an inhale breath, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale from the hips, forward fold. Take your hands to your chair and maybe you walk your feet back a little bit. Let's come into kind of an L shape and just hang it out for a moment. Again, you might walk your feet a little bit wider. You might sway your hips. Hopefully feeling a nice release between the shoulders and the back of the pelvis. And a little bit of length in your spine. Take a look towards your chair and let's walk the feet back in. Slowly come to standing. And then I'm gonna turn my chair around once again. And we'll come down to the floor. So I'm gonna take a blanket over my chair knowing that's probably the next place that I'll want it. But before I use that, I'll take some wide-legged stretches. So both legs out wide to start. Find your sit bones. So maybe rock a little side to side till you feel the bottom of your pelvis in the floor. And then let's take our left, bend our left knee, take our left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Flex your right foot, so or right ankle, so your toes are pulling back towards you. Take an inhale breath here. Lengthen up through the spine, and then as you exhale, you could come forward and rest your hands on the floor, or you could pull your chair in a little bit closer. Rest your upper body down on your chair today. Or maybe you start here and then you decide to come down a little bit further. Press your hands into the floor. As you inhale, walk your body up. And then we'll switch it out. So left leg out long. And sole of, excuse me, right knee bent, sole of the right foot into the top of your left thigh. Again, find your sit bones, sit nice and tall, take an inhale breath, and then as you exhale, begin to hinge forward from the hips. So again, maybe you bring your chair in a little bit closer, rest your upper body down. It's all about how you can find ways to support your body in your practice today. Maybe coming down a little bit further. Press your hands into the floor. Inhale as you walk your body up. 
And then let's take both legs out long. Maybe bringing that chair in a little bit closer once again. Finding a way that you can come into this wide-legged forward fold in a comfortable way. Where can you support yourself so that you can stay in the pose? That you're not, not suffering or not holding your breath. A place that feels good today. Let's take three more breaths here. And then slowly press yourself up. Scoot the chair out of the way. Maybe off to the side. And then we'll finish up our practice today in a supported fish. So, I've got a blanket and a pillow that I'm going to put underneath my back. And you'll just sort of have to play around here to decide what feels best. But keep your legs long, maybe, maybe the knees bent at first until you get down there. We'll take the back of our head to the floor and the upper part of our spine particularly and some of the lower part will be supported. Let your shoulders drop down and away for a moment. Breathe nice and deep into your ribs, into your belly, into your heart. And after you've been here for a moment, if this feels like too much of a lift, you can always take a blanket or a pillow out. As you breathe here, scan for places where you might be squeezing or holding on to. Ask yourself, can you, can you breathe into those places? Can you soften those places? Let's take three more breaths here. Come out of this position. We'll move slowly and carefully, bending one knee at a time, bring the soles of your feet to the floor. And slowly start to lean to one side, roll on over. Press the floor away with your top hand and come on up to seated position. support ourselves here and seated by tucking a blanket underneath our hips. And if you have a wall nearby, it might feel best to, to have a little bit of a wall to lean on here too. Let's get 
comfortable. You don't have to sit crisscross applesauce. Just find a comfortable seat and a tall spine. Let your shoulders drop down and away from your ears. Arms, hands relaxing wherever feels best. I invite you to close your eyes or soften your gaze. Let your chin drop down towards your chest, keeping your spine tall. Continue with a nice full breath. With your inhale, bring your head back up to center. And then let's let our right ear drop over towards our right shoulder. Maybe you take your right hand, placing your fingertips right above your ear along your head. And let the weight of your arm pull a little bit, getting a nice stretch into the left side of your neck. Release your hand, your arm back down, tip your head back up to center and then over to the left. Soften your shoulders. And then maybe this time you take your right fingertips just above, excuse me, your left fingertips just above your right ear and gently let your arm hang with the weight of it pull. Breathing into that sensation happening on the right side of your neck. And then red, when you're ready, go ahead and release. Tip your head back up to center. Take an inhale breath here. And as you exhale, turn your face to the left. Inhaling back to center. And exhale, turn your face to the right. And inhale your way back to center. Continue to breathe. It's a natural, easy feeling breath. Remembering that when we feel supported, it makes it so much easier for us to be supportive of others. So I invite you to take this practice or any other practice just to feel good, supported, feeling practice, to remind yourself of that. When you're ready, start to bring some movement back into your body, open your eyes, bring your attention back into the room. So if you're feeling inspired or you've been thinking during your practice, know that that's, that's normal. Our brains kind of go off and make lists and think about things we want to do later in the day or something that happened earlier in our day. So maybe take this time to grab a piece of paper or a journal and a pen and write down some things that you were thinking about just to get them off of your mind. Or if you were inspired, maybe write down ways that you can support yourself in your yoga practice or just throughout your day, right? Like taking a deeper breath every once in a while. 
making a reminder for yourself to do that. Because when we do feel supported, we're able to support others in a, a deeper and better way. So thank you so much for joining me today.